when I started to paint shoes, it wasn't because I thought I could make a cool looking shoe. It was because there was already shoes out there that I wanted, but I couldn't find. So we'd take one shoe to make it look like another shoe. And uh, we'd call it the poor man version. There's different ways you can consider this art, you know, but ultimately you want to, it's wearable fashion, you know, wearable art. You don't want to do something that looks too kooky, you know, you want it to embody the brand or embody the person that it's going to be for while still looking good. I mean, when you visualize Whataburger, this is what you visualize. You visualize the orange and white stripes. It's on the bag, it's on the building, it's on the cups. And I mean, that's what you see when you see Whataburger. Day one, we mainly did prep work, unlaced it, stuffed it, taped off any areas that we didn't want any paint getting on at all. And then added base coats and that got the basic blocking down of the shoe. Day two, we have the stripes, the decals, the tongue tag, and any edging up that needs to get done. And last but not least, adding a full lambskin interior. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just looks really good with all the white midsole, the orange outsole. We could take a, uh, a shoe like this, you know, and we could spray paint a burger on it, you know, <laughs> you know, but that wouldn't really be the most stylish thing to, you know, take to, to the streets. I'm Jake Dancliffs, better known as Dank from Dank Customs. I do custom footwear out of San Antonio, Texas.